most of the price action this Monday is in the FX market, where the U.S. dollar is picking up where it left off last week as it extends declines. The euro has turned heads with the single currency racing back above the psychological barrier at 120. The last time the euro was above 120 was back in early March. It seems the pullback in U.S. yields and the uptick in European vaccination rates are major contributors to the euro demand. It's also possible Goldman Sachs's recent recommendation to go long euro dollar is playing a part in the euro's relative outperformance today. But again, we're seeing broad demand for currencies against the buck, which includes Aussie and Kiwi, also getting some more boost from rallying commodities prices and record high U.S. equities. The Canadian dollar is also up, but has less has been less impressive of late as it contends with worry about coronavirus management in Canada and dangers associated with Canada's federal budget, which will be released today for the first time in two years. There's no major economic data on the calendar for the remainder of the day, and the focus will be on these bigger picture themes. That's all for now.